Sock, go Ticats! Let's go Cats! Yeah, you're a Ticat fan? Hell no. <laughs> Two teams that are defined by their differences. Vicks can Pete and Pinball. Black and Gold versus Double Blue. Steel versus Water. Suburban versus Urban. Despite these vast differences, they aren't far apart. No two CFL teams are closer together geographically. The proximity breeds familiarity and contempt. Separated by just 50 kilometers, the battle of the QEW Highway is always a battle, no matter how much separation there is between the two teams in the stand. Because there are always primary and secondary goals to a season. Win the Grey Cup and beat the team whose name shall not be named. The matchups often lead to hostility. Argo is just doing dumb shit. But the matchups are always great. Because some of the greats of the game have not only suited up for one of these teams, some of the greats of the game have suited up for both and seen the rivalry through dual face masks. Because as much as it means for the players, it means that much more to the fans. It splits neighborhoods, friend groups, families, even marriages. Take mine, for example. I was raised an Argo fan, but married into a family of Ticat season ticket holders. The penance I had to pay to get my wife's hand in marriage was to be crowned with those colors. Oski Wee Wee's and Argo's chants went back and forth throughout the reception. Now my son has a tough choice to make. It's that deep. The rivalry remains because generation after generation breathes life into it. For every generation of player, coach, and fan, these games are life and death. It's not just about a team or a franchise. It's a referendum on a place to live, a way to live, a state of being. You don't enjoy the wins as much as you enjoy the fact the other loses. 60 minutes that mean more than the rest of the schedule. Not just an opponent, an enemy. Not just a divisional foe, a rival. Because these two teams equal history, legacy, validity, and rivalry.